<laughs> oh, nice. Of course. Don't talk to me. I, I'm thinking. Uh, no, I'm in here. Don't try to come in. Especially if you don't need to use the bathroom. Lovely. Alright, let's get out of here. See, this is the kind of thing people don't do in Let's Plays. Or at least watch. They just sort of spoke to the lady, got the map and left. Because they knew all the tutorial stuff. And sure, I kind of know the tutorial stuff, but it's... Nice to just hear what people have to say, you know? I'm enjoying this at my pace. No, I'm doing watch out duty for the died out. Can you take over? Yeah. Just kidding. Being watch out is my job. <laughs> Hello? I'm not your enemy. I'm simply your average run of the mill mole. Would you like some hints on finding enemies? Sure. Listen carefully. My hint involves which way you are facing when a- Okay, I know this bit. If you allow enemies to approach you from your back or side, they may get a surprise opening attack. When they approach you this way, your TV screen- No, no, I mean the world in front of you will show a red swirl for a second. On the other hand, if you approach an enemy from the back or side, you may get a surprise opening attack. In that case, your TV- Oops, again. The world in front of you shows a green swirl. The point is, try to fight so that you always have the advantage. Yeah, I've mostly just been doing neutral fight beginnings, but alright. Giant step, north at the top of the mountain. Danger, do not enter. Uh, am I able to go here straight away? I feel like I'm not. Nope, no, I'm not. Oh, there's a big footprint on the hill top behind this shack. I haven't seen it myself. It's just a rumor. This shack was locked by someone from City Hall, so we can't use it. The reason it was closed was because the phones a bunk called Frank may have trashed the place. What a drag. We can't even change our clothes, and our hotels are too expensive. Traveling into Dana's shack. Door is locked. Okay. Interesting. What's over here? I'm traveling really far now. Okie dokie. What is this? It doesn't say with a big chunk of light of words. Psst, whisper. Whisper, psst, psst. Shh, what if someone ever hears us? Right, whisper. Psst, psst, wah. You chuck. That was interesting, but alright. Uh, and you keep doing that. The flowers in the garden are representative of those in your heart. Treat them both nice. Aw. Okay. Where's the where's the main path down? Did I miss it completely? Yeah, that doesn't matter too much. Also, there's a drugstore that everyone's fought on the roof of. The drugstore is to the east. East is the opposite direction of west. Good to know. A girl named Paula lives in Tucson. Her mother runs a preschool out of their town. Home. How? Home. Can't remember the name of the school, but I heard Paula's really nice. Why is she special? I forgot to ask. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Hi, right, come in, come in. What can I do for you today? Can I help you find something? Um. Why is it flashing? Because I'm, it, it's flashing as if I'm about to die, but I'm very clearly not. Now, before I buy anything, I want to take money out the ATM. Oh, you hurt my feelings. I didn't actually read that bit. Oops. Now it is, a, it is a check thing. Of course it is. <sighs> Damn it! Can't mash the A button on these things. Thank you. Please take your cash. Woof woof! I'm Ruffini the log. I'm being possessed by the spirit of the game designer. Roof! Do you see the window of HP and PP at the bottom of the machine? When you go to a store that has equipable items, this window will either flash, look normal, or become black. If you're allowed to equip an item and it is stronger than your current item, the window will flash. If the item's power is equal to you or less than the current, the window looks normal. If you can't equip an item, the window is black. Woof! Oh, you'd like to know. Now it's time to become a regular dog again. <laughs> nice. Hey, I know your heart and cash is important to you, but you should go your mom. She's probably got an ulcer from worrying about you. Already? Hello there, how may I help you? I would like a cold remedy. I don't know what that does. So maybe later. Apparently I'm just in such a chill mood I'm yawning. I'm not bored, I'm just... 
Chill. Right. That'll be good for defense. But then that'll... Can I afford two of anything? Yes, I can get a yo-yo and a, base a cheap bracelet. So I'm getting that. That's a defense shade from four to nine. Beautiful. And... Heck yeah, I'm getting that yo-yo. It is stronger. Sure, why not? And then... Nothing I can get for 10. Alright. And I don't think we could afford... No, the other thing was $20. Okay. It sucks that the uh, Earthbound on VC doesn't have a pixel smoother. Game would look better. Uh, I guess that's kind of supposed to be the charm. It's supposed to be very pixelated 8-bit style. Oh well. Don't you think you get more food value out of 14 bucks worth of burgers than 8 bucks worth of french fries? You'll feel better and more energetic if you eat better foods. You know, you'll recover more health if you eat more expensive food. <laughs> Way to make that clear. Gosh, everything's so yellow in here. The hair. Well, I guess it's blonde, but... I'm so much more relaxed here. They never asked me, would you like fries with that shake? <laughs> it seems like I'm always here. I hope you don't mind. Why have you brought suitcases? Hello, may I take your order? Smile, smile. What can I get for you? Uh... I got a bag of fries, because I can't afford anything else. I hope it's not a bad deal that I have spent all my money. Probably not. Why do mothers look so creepy? Woof! Thank you. No problem here, just about to die. The arcade is full of sharks, I can't play there. Alright, that's the main path I imagine. Uh, is there one up here? No. Welcome to Onnet Town. You look so helpless, are you okay? No problem here. When you're in trouble, do you think you'd ever like to have a hint? Why don't you get a hint from the next house? <laughs> hint? Now wait a minute, youngster. I can give you a great hint for just thirty-five dollars. You'd like a hint, wouldn't you? No. So you're telling me that you don't want a hint. You're either awfully confident or thirty-five dollars is too much to pay. Anyway, a young man like you is very unusual these days. If you happen to need a hint, come on back. I'm here all the time. Okay. Hmm. Wouldn't that be cool if 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 you could actually be psychic and people were psychic and you could actually get like a a real life hinting career where like you could actually go to someone and be like, I need a hint in my life, and they like. Oh, they read your entire life and be like, this is what you need to do next. It'd be cool. You, Ness, my, sense, my son said something about going to a hideout. I don't know what he was talking about. Okay. Uh, okay, there's his face. Mr. Liar X Urgerate, the treasure hunter, finally found something interesting. I heard he, was only sh he will only show it to you. And in case you missed it last time, I guess. This town is out of control. The wild boys are hanging out in the town, and the cops have really been cracking down on everyone. I'm considering moving to Tucson, a town in the south. Okay. You can do what you want, lady. I'm not gonna judge. Okay. I'm just slowly exploring all of Onet. Break the course of violence. Don't break the wind of change. Fresh breeze moment. Okay, pop quiz. A Beatles song. Yesterday. Can you fill in the blanks? That's correct. <laughs> I'm impressed. Nice. Nice. See, I never knew. I never read that one. I need to say that in real life. That could be a fun little thing. Say something funny. I'll listen. Hmm. Can't wait any longer. I'm gonna go back to watching the news. It's funnier than you. Oof. That would be a real insult these days. 
Ouch. Oh, nightly raid is not cheap, but we have a clean sheets and the rooms are uh, secure. I'm sure you uh, understand that this is, keeps us uh, very busy. Welcome to Hotel Onet. Uh, one night stay will cost you thirty-five dollars. Should I just stay? See you next time. Could you believe it? A group of ruffians spit their gum on me as I was passing by. You look like you'd be a real target for the sharks. You better be careful. Oh, I didn't even. Wait, was the break winds of change a real? Never mind. Never mind. I'm dumb for some things. That's an ATM room. That's a little odd. On at City Hall. The rumor has it that the shark's boss is hanging out near the giant step. Okay. I'm really in a foul mood. Why? Because the mayor doesn't like me. I think I'll just kick back for a while. It just may take a couple hours to sign this paper. <laughs> oh, aren't you Ness? Is it a school holiday today? Have you done your homework? Remember to brush your teeth before going to bed. Have you been wetting your bed? That's a bit of a creepy ass, that last one, but oh, whatever. Aren't you stuck? If you want a hint, come and get it. Eagle Town, or Eagle, Eagle Land Hint Union. E-H-U. There are a lot of organizations of stray dogs around on it. Is the mayor going to let them just run around doing whatever they want? I'm here to protest. It's just me. Gosh. Some suspicious looking kids are hanging out in the woods north of the library. I wonder if they are members of the Sharks. To stop the spread of the gang, someone should shut down their gathering places. Don't you think? I've started a movement. I will stop all of the bad influences on the children of Onet. On it, even. I call them Fresh Breeze Movement. Hum de dum. Hum de dum dum, maybe? I don't know. We don't have any openings for part time employees at this time. I work for City Hall, but somehow Mayor Perkle bring, uh, bugs me. Let's keep this between you and me. Did I tell you I saw a giant ant to untie a giant step? Sorry, I did ant mean to spoil it for you. <laughs> the mayor's office is on the second floor. You need an appointment before you visit. I'm gonna have to stop you if you try to see the mayor. Stop me. The mayor is busting his butt with all the troubles in town. Like the sharks and the media, right? Hey, you're the guy who's trying to reform the sharks. Waho, waho, waho. You've got to be kidding. Scram. Okay. She didn't stop us. Unless she's the cop upstairs as well. That'd be quite the disguise. This is a long building. And yes, we'll be going up to that secret hideout later, I guess, then. If one of your friends becomes unconscious, you should visit them at the hospital. You should check with the f nurse receptionist, and she will release your friend. It's a nice thing to remember, but it's all right if you forget. Okay. These are new, I think. New buildings? I moved here from the way, way, way away next town. In the next town, there is the... What is the name? Uh, Polar Star Preschool. Preschool at Parlor's house. Paula uses, uh, what is it called? Uh, magic. Oh, a giant. Nice. Bum, 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 bum,
<laughs> you should be a voice actor. Thank you. I think part of the reason I'm doing well on the voices so far, not only because there's a nice amount of diversity in the characters, so it's easy to sort of do it, but also my th my 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 tonsils are slightly swelling on me at the moment, so I've got like a slightly different range that's sort of like pitching in. Like I sound more like a character than I do myself at the moment. Or I feel like I do. I'm drinking a lot of milk to help myself. And also, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing voice acting on the side. Maybe I'll try it someday. I'll do some auditions. Insert obvious Mr. Beam joke here. You mean like just his voice? And the way he's like, Bane. Bane. I did that the right way round, are you sure? Uh, apparently I did. Okay. You're trying to sell us the newspaper? Go away. Don't read the pa We don't read the paper. And we don't want any milk either. Damn it, but I was drinking milk. I have milk for you. Hello. City Hall is to the east, you know, where the sun rises. Okay. My, na my name. I can't say it. What is it? Bean. Bean. My name Bean. Nah, it doesn't really. Maybe I haven't got the mist of Bean voice as well as I thought I did in the past. Ah, well. Is there something back here? Hmm. Yes. My. The magic butterfly made Ness relax. Oh, that's a real thing. I didn't think it was. That's cool. All right. All right. Shoot. Uh, I imagine that's the yo-yo. Right? <laughs> I completely like oversaw this beforehand. Yes, okay. It was just like, Pat! shoot the bird in the face. Nice. Right, I've done my second layer of on it. Let's do our final final skim. Uh, how we how we doing this? I guess down here. Oh, oh, this is the sharks now, is it? You engage the Yes Man Junior. Just shoot him in the face. The Yes Man Junior is attacking. I can imagine a room full of a bunch of just d dorky nerds on a dance floor trying to dance to this battle music, even though it's very much not dancey music. I can just see it. I imagine it's probably happened at some convention somewhere, but that's what I imagine, and I like it. I like dorkiness, damn it. I have a soft spot for it. Hello, and you are... Say, have you ever suffered from some type of sickness or condition that you couldn't get cured at a hospital? For example, being diamondized, where your head gets as hard as a diamond? Or mushroomized, where you have a mushroom on your head? I know that one. I know that one really well. If you're ever stuck with these types of embarrassing conditions, we of the Magic Healing Shrine are here to ease your pain. We're ready and waiting. In the lobby of hospitals all over the world, the person next to me is the great teacher of magic healing. <laughs> you may not believe it, I'm a healer. <sighs> if you have some illness that cannot be treated at a hospital, <sighs> it's my job to cure you. <sighs> Alright, old man. Oh, it's this song. I know this song. I'm not busy right now. Shall I explain about the hospital system? Sure. If a good friend of yours becomes unconscious, come to the hospital right away. Damn it. I just went to put it on my knee and I froze the game again because it's got to go on the Wii U menu. Thank you. Get out of here. 
as long as you have money for the doctor's fee, you'll be able to see your friend completely recovered in no time. Besides being unconscious, whenever you don't feel so well, come and talk to a doctor. Everything I just told you applies to hospitals all over the world. It's an international healthcare business. I heard that around here, our doctor is number one, he he he. I could examine each of you for thirty dollars. Each one of you does only one of me. I'm confusing my voice and myself. Okay. The old man sounds like he's dying. Oh yeah, he might be. I like to think he's using the healing magic entire constantly on himself because he is dying. But because he's such a good healer, he can stay immortal. But he's he's stuck in this like one percent health sort of thing. When I came to visit my friend at this hospital, I somehow slipped and fell in the hallway. So now I'm staying in the hospital too. This could be the basis for a great tragic tearjerker. Well, maybe not. <laughs> he backed away as if like he didn't want me to see him. Uh, well, we're on it. It's a hospital. I run the place. I uh, gotcha. Uh, so sorry, I'm, I'm just a patient here. <laughs> Seems a bit nervous. I was smashed by a mouse! <laughs> okay. What? You're here to visit my daughter? So you're the one who calls her in the middle of the night and talks for hours. Oh, it's not you. Then why did you come to this room? Uh, excuse me? That's a little creepy. What boss monster am I worrying about? Oh, need to worry about now. Tombstone blowout sale. We have a special discount for those who have passed on in this hospital. What would you like written on your tombstone? On a hospital surgery team. That's not a topic I want to be talking about. Maybe save the vo oh, save this voice for the sequel. I don't know which one that was referring to, but I imagine I will eventually play that game. And then, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just bring them all back again. I can use some repeats. Because I... I Actually, no, my voices have changed, I think, a lot. My mother voice is kind of the same. But, like, most of my voices have kind of changed. I guess it makes sense because I've, you know, my voice is broken as I've been on YouTube, so that's fun. Mm -mm. The point I'm looking to see has beautiful scenery. It's over that away. Such a beautiful place gets me all choked up. Uh, this way. I'm just trying to skim through on it. Oh, okay, it's it's only a, a like a dead end. Sweet. I must be the uh, I must be the happiest man in the world. I can practice my jumping in scenic spot. I'll send my haunting melody throughout the town. Da da. At least make it line up, dude. No. Okay. Doesn't this house look good? You can buy it for only seven thousand five hundred dollars. It has an ocean view, and the sunsets are beautiful! Folks should have a place of their own! Do you want to buy it? Yes, with my two dollars. You can't afford seven thousand five hundred dollars! It was a waste of time talking to you! Sounds like a spiteful crow. Maybe he is one in disguise. Even if you're poor, come and see how easy it is to own a luxurious second home. Beak Point Real Estate. Hmm. I wish I could get a house one day. It's not gonna happen. It's a shame. My generation will not be able to own houses. That's just the fact of life. Oopsie doops. Oh well, I didn't mess up the system. Bush Hospital. The best hospital care in Onnit. We put our life into operating on you. <laughs> Oof. Pizza. Open soon. Mac Pizza Onnit Branch. You're not a bad guy. You ain't shy, Frank. You alright? Okay, yes. Yes, he did. I love how it just keeps saying shoot, because I just keep thinking of just going Pfft. He's like, hey, look at me, I'm on a skateboard. Pfft. Nah, shot him. Oh well. Did I say Earthbound? Oops. No. I imagine someone else said Earthbound 2. Earthbound is Mother 2. Oh, yush. I just realized my HP. Damn it. I was not paying attention. 
I wanted to look at the chart. Mm. Look at the 